This is a jet cat turbine and normally to see what's going on you need to connect the GSU which displays things like the turbine status, RPM, temperature, voltages etc. Telemetry has come a long way though and JetCat now incorporates into its latest V12 ECU a lot of this same information through telemetry which works for Futaba, Grautner, Multiplex and Jetty. The previous generations of JetCat ECU, the V10, could also do the same, just instead of doing it right out of the box, you also needed the JetCat telemetry adapter as well. Regardless of if you have the V12 ECU or a V10 with telemetry adapter, if, like me, you're running the Powerbox Core radio, you might have felt a bit left out. Now though, Thanks to the Smoke EL Telebridge, we can access all of those great telemetry values very easily, as I'm going to show you. First of all though, how does the Telebridge actually work? Well, it basically acts as a translator, simply translating any kind of jetty telemetry into Powerbox Core telemetry. So even though today we're focusing on the JetCat telemetry, this same guide will work just the same for any device that you may have that has an output for Jetty telemetry on it. Step one, installation. Simply splice the telebridge in between our receiver's P2 bus port and the intended Jetty telemetry output. As the telebridge works with all Jetty telemetry outputs, some of these are powered, like our ECU, or say a speed controller, while others are standalone units with no power of their own, such as maybe a variometer or a GPS sensor. Due to these multiple types of sensors available, we need to make sure that we do not supply power to the telebridge twice. So basically, if using one of those powered sensors, pull or cut off the red connector from the telebridge input wire. In today's case, as we are setting it up to work with a JetCat ECU, which is of course a powered telemetry sensor, it has its own turbine LiPo powering it, we need to remove the red wire from that telebridge input. While on the point about installation, it's also worth pointing out that there are actually two versions, basically, of the telebridge to choose from. The standalone telebridge works for one jetty telemetry sensor and has a single connection direct to our receiver's P2 bus port. If using the P2 bus port for any additional functions, such as a connection to a power box for further power box telemetry sensors, or even additional telebridges, you need to Y lead these together into that single P2 bus port on the receiver. The Telebridge hub, on the other hand, still connects directly into our receiver's P2 bus port, but on the other end it has a total of five outputs. The first of which is an integrated Telebridge, same as the standalone unit, and then the further four open outputs are already Y leaded together so you can use those for all the additional features and functions of that power box, of those power box telemetry sensors, or even for additional telebridges if necessary. Step two, we need to activate the telemetry output on our ECU and set it to output Jetty, all using our standard JetCat GSU. Step three, get the telebridge talking to our core radio. With everything connected and turned on, everything except for the turbine battery, create a new telemetry widget and scan for new sensors. Once that's done, select the telebridge and specifically the sensor status one. That now has the telebridge talking to our core radio but we still need to fine tune the telebridge's hearing 
so it can listen to our ECU's telemetry and translate it for us. So on to step four, teach the Telebridge what to listen out for. Access the Telebridge menu through our telemetry widget. And from here, we have a very simple menu that we will use to finish setting up the Telebridge to work with our particular telemetry sensor, in this case, the JetCat ECU. As you can see, you can choose between all the various different types of Jetty telemetry sensors that it can read from. In our case, of course, we're going to select JetCat. Now that the Telebridge knows what Jetty dialect it needs to listen out for, we're going to have it do exactly that. Listen and learn exactly what information the ECU is sending out to it. So with the ECU battery still disconnected, press scan the bus and then connect the ECU battery. If we go back to the home page in that status one telemetry widget that we made earlier, we can now see the progress being made. The reason for connecting the battery at this point and not sooner is that upon turning on the ECU, it will immediately start sending out all the telemetry information in order. Sensor 1, sensor 2, sensor 3, sensor 4, etc. This isn't strictly necessary. It just avoids things from getting jumbled, missed, mixed up or in different orders. Once the scan reaches 100%, then we're ready to rock and roll. Step five, viewing our chosen telemetry values. Go back into that status one telemetry widget and use the cause rescan sensors function. In doing so, you will note that the name of the telemetry has changed from Telebridge to JetCat. And that within it, we can now choose to display from a vast array of telemetry points available to us, be that RPM, EGT, exhaust temperature, fuel remaining, battery voltages, status, basically everything that we can look at and look out for on our GSU during startup, running or shutdown. Fantastic. If you're feeling really adventurous, you can even use the Powerbox Core's extensive programming possibilities to use their voice to speech functions and link them to the telemetry. Basically, so it'll read the outputs from what would be the GSU through the telemetry back to you. So for example, I have it set up to always on for the voice activation, linked to the JetCat status two reading from the telemetry, and then whenever the value changes, it reads it out to me. JetCat turbine starts. JetCat turbine off. And there you go. JetCat telemetry on your core radio. So you can now close your model up and start the turbine without the need to leave your canopies open for these corded GSUs. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment any queries below, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.